What are the saffron benefits for men? Some of the topics we will cover in this video are erectile dysfunction, intermittent fasting, uh, heart health, and infertility, and in general, how saffron affects blood circulation. So the first topic is erectile dysfunction. And Matty, why don't you explain to us how does saffron affect erectile dysfunction? Sure. Or you might want to go one step before that. Sure. And explain to us what saffron does generally in the body. Sure, sure. Well, generally speaking, in terms of the human biology, um, erectile dysfunction may coming from the disability of the uh, muscles uh, in the in the male's uh, genital area, or um, or the problem with the blood circulation. Either of this problem can be um, kind of you know can be support by taking saffron on a regular basis, and how it works is important. So saffron primarily, and if I want to put it in a very simple uh, way of explaining, is the great high, high potent antioxidant. Saffron contains 400 plus uh, biocomponents and they all um, are antioxidant, actively working as antioxidant. In fact, saffron is the second highest yes, plant yeah, known, containing antioxidants. Known, known as the second highest plants um, contain the high quality uh, antioxidant. However, the very, very first one, in terms of the number of the biocomponents, is not even close to saffron. Okay. That that's makes saffron extremely unique so and the complexity exceptional. The complexity is exceptional. Of the biocomponents. Yeah, that's why saffron is great for anyone in any age. Practically anyone from the uh, before birth all the way to kind of, you know, old age, people can take saffron. However, the dosage is very important and the time that you're taking it is very important. That's why people need to contact us and ask us about if they have any specific kind of you know, concern or condition. So, so when it comes to erectile dysfunction, yeah. saffron helps the... Saffron helps the get rid of um, free radicals in the body. Okay. Therefore, as, as the free radicals will go away from the body, the rehabilitation of the cells started. And as the rehabilitation of the cells started, therefore the blood circulation will go better and will work better because you are able to cap uh, you are capable to get better oxygen. So, so the, if I want to put it in a very simple way, free radicals are like the uh, very sharp knife. So they will cut through the cells, through the cells wall. And as saffron coming into the story, so it will get rid of them and start to re uh, repairing the cells. Therefore, the nutrients will remain into the cell. Okay. That's why the, the, the kind of you know, aging process of the cells will be delayed. And uh, as the cells are more contained and their nutrients will stay in it, therefore they will absorb better oxygen, they will absorb better nutrients, and they will behave far, far stronger and better. So that's a very simple way. And once we repair our blood circulation through uh, getting a saffron, getting a help from saffron, uh, many many problems will fix and in the case that we are having a chat about it about the uh, men's, erectile men's erectile dysfunction so as the oxygen coming more through the body as the blood circulation works better therefore muscles will be more stronger as well as the uh, blood service will be better for the for the genital area in men okay yeah. so so this is what i understand that uh, by taking regular dosages of saffron yeah. uh, we get our uh, blood system to to work better, yeah. our circulation to work Absolutely. better, which in fact, which in turn, which in turn affects the this, uh, Absolutely. erectile dysfunction. Absolutely. Okay. Well, something Alex that is very important is I want people to know that um, taking any herbal medicine, including saffron, is completely different by taking any conventional medicine. Conventional medicine works like bank. But with the saffron or with any other herbal medicine, you need to be patient. You need to be build it up in your body. How long? How long do we need to? Build well, it? I I will suggest that if someone uh, wanna get the best result, it needs to be a little bit patient. Perhaps with the men, they require to have the 50 milligram saffron per day. That's five zero milligrams. Yeah, that's five zero milligram. Uh, which is one twentieth of the gram, and they can have it in a very simple way, which we can explain it later on. Sure, we'll have a video about how to use saffron for its medicinal benefits, uh, how much to use, when to use. So please uh, subscribe so you get uh, notification about that upcoming video. Absolutely. So I was saying, fifty milligram of saffron a day for the for the men. 
that they want to fix a problem and uh, if they if they take it within a kind of you know one month i am confident that they will conquer so 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 many different okay so approximately yeah. 30 yeah. days of yeah. usage yeah. you should start seeing some yeah. benefits at least however this is just a very um, general estimate we don't know the individual's uh, sure. health condition and all those things sure. some men they might find it faster i mean the effect might yeah. might appear faster some men they might appear you know a little bit later sure yeah. So just not going off the topic, but just to explain, free radicals are the bits and pieces that your kidney and your liver and your filtration system hasn't been able to catch. So they're basically roaming around freely. That's why they're called free radicals. And uh, after a while, uh, just like if you leave a piece of bread in the kitchen for a long time, it turns green and moldy. So after a while, these free radicals affect the body in that way, which they turn toxic, they turn moldy, Dangerous, if you want, yeah. 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 And uh, this, what it does, it basically reduces your immune system. Absolutely, yeah. Damages the cells, and therefore, um, any any part of our body, any system will will kind of you know get hurt. As as Alex put it beautifully in the word, uh, free radicals also mainly uh, coming to our body through the um, polluted environment, through the different type of uh, additives and preservatives that we take in the yes. food, from the genetically modified food, so from any other elements that is not familiar with ourselves. That's why it's extremely important for every single human being to try eating and living and smelling and, I don't know, breathing in the healthy environment as much as possible. Which I'm sure we're going to have a video on that soon. Absolutely, we will have that. But uh, <laughs> let's just get back to this, um, how saffron benefits men. And let's answer the question about uh, infertility. Sure. So infertility in men primarily um, covers several areas. One of the most important area is men may be infertile um, if they have the dysfunctional uh, sperm. So okay. this dysfunctionality of the sperm or immobility of the sperm, okay. which is causing from the many, many um, uh, fundamental reason. Uh, some men, they, they have a lack of uh, vitamins and minerals in their body, therefore mm -hmm. the, the lifespan of the sperm is so short. And other men, they, they don't get the enough oxygen in their body, sure. that's why the lifespan of the so sperm is So how does saffron help this? Well, um, as I explained uh, about the erectile dysfunction, that's the same policy applies to okay. this problem. So as your, your cells getting rehabilitated through the usage of the saffron, uh, therefore, majority of these problems will go away. And I always will suggest that to anyone that beside taking a saffron, always try to alkaline your body, which we can explain later in, in future videos how to do it in a very simple way. And um, eating very healthy. Uh, eating healthy, um, very simple way is not eating anything in the box or in the package and try to eat everything in the most um, closest to the nature. So live yeah. food basically. Yeah, live food, which, not, we, nothing, which we will explain about. Nothing it, that yeah. comes out of a box or yeah, a exactly, plastic yeah. bag. Yeah, exactly. So anything that goes through the manufacturer as a food manufacturing, this means they are not healthy, this means they are not uh, um, live. Um, even though they, some of them they might have a stamp as organic or some of them they might have a stamp as a healthy. But anything that's coming in the packaging means they have the shelf life and means they, ha they got some kind of, you know, um, I don't know, um, preservative, additive, sugar, salt, yeah. fat, or all this stuff. Now, that's a, another subject. Let's yeah. not get off the... Sure. Yeah. But, but um, we have another uh, topic here in terms of how saffron helps uh, men. Yeah. And that is intermittent fasting and how saffron helps with craving or weight management. Well, Alex, before we go for that, yeah. I want to I wanna kind of, you know, uh, switch back to the previous subject in a very short manner. Yeah. So, um, one of the main things about the infertility in men is the abnormality of the sperm. Yeah. The abnormality of the sperm mainly is coming from either is the gene kind of you know, not working well, which is again back to the free radicals, free radicals damaging the production of the gene yeah. and damaging the functionality of the gene. So and another thing, another reason is um, um, when when the men are getting to the little bit kind of you know older age, or they they had a um, 
bad habit of the um, having a lots of alcohol or drink smoking, or smoking drinking. or this type of you know behavior may damage the sperm and uh, damage it in the in the way that in majority of the time they cannot repair it. Hmm. Saffron is it does a lots of help. However, if the the damage is being so profound, the chance of saffron repairing it is so minimal. Yeah. yeah. But it's always good to have something that uh, bringing the help to the to the to the body. And sure. yeah, let's move to the next stage. Yeah. yeah well, uh, testosterone is another question that um, comes in terms of men's health. Oh, absolutely. How does saffron help in terms of producing testosterone? Sure, absolutely. Uh, well, testosterone in men um, usually will produce by having the bigger and better uh, muscle mass. Yeah. So having a man with the muscle mass is is far more effective to producing the uh, testosterone in the body rather than the male male with a lower muscle mass. Okay. And how saffron helps again by enhancing the blood circulation mm -hmm. and by enhancing the, the the absorption of the of the nutrients. So one of the things that saffron does is supporting the body by producing serotonin in the guts. So as the serotonin goes up. And as the pattern of the production of serotonin will be corrected by helping a saffron, by getting a saffron, therefore you will absorb better nutrients to your body and you okay. will absorb the, yeah, by absorbing the better nutrients and by having the healthier blood circulation, so obviously you can, you can develop the better muscle mass. Okay. Yeah. And in turn, you have more testosterone. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. And Alex, don't forget, the number of the male that usually uh, battling with the heart disorders yes. is usually higher than the female. That's right. And one of the very, very main elements of uh, kind of, you know, supporting the male by preventing the heart disorders is increasing the testosterone. As the testosterone goes up okay. in the male's body, the, la the chance of heart disease good goes down. Okay. So it is very crucial for the male to having attention. And I want to add another thing into it. Uh, this is for the gentleman. You need to um, have a look at the whole story as a general story. So saffron, it is the great addition to other changes that you do. So you need to do a practice. Physical practice is extremely important, Exercises, Alex, for male. Yeah. 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 For male to, to enhance the production of the testosterone. Absolutely. A good quality food is extremely important. And saffron is another element that can enhance all those other elements. So what we're basically trying to say is that don't think just because you take 50 milligrams of saffron per day, you're going to be all okay. No, you still need to walk, exercise, absolutely, eat well, drink absolutely. a lot of water, yeah. uh, breathe, Alkalining water. learn yeah. how to breathe correctly. Yeah. Many people think they are breathing, but they actually don't know how to breathe correctly. Um, so saffron just comes as a, a complementary, basically, exactly. a supplement. A, a great complementary to a whole, uh, to, to entire this story. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think we've just covered all these points that have been asked, uh, except the point about weight loss and intermittent fasting. Oh, that's a very important um, point. Well, um, as I explained to you guys, what saffron does initially is uh, supporting the production of serotonin in guts. So majority of people, they having a craving or they having a whinging eating just because um, they need some uh, positive hormones to release in their brain. Therefore, they go for the eating. They go for the lots sure, of eating. Sure, we all know that uh, exactly. dopamine is released. Yeah, Im impulsive eating is like impulsive shopping. Is like in any impulsive any behavior. So impulsiveness giving us a rush. So as people putting themselves in the habit of taking saffron and as the serotonin goes up, the impulsiveness goes down. So they become more rational, they become more okay. calm, more collect. And saffron will promote all those things even, even within a couple of days of taking it. But how, how does it affect uh, reducing cravings? Well, exactly, that's the point. As I said, because because as the serotonin goes up, so impulsiveness goes down. So you don't you don't have an appetite for taking okay. a food. Okay. And food mainly in these days in the modern days is the sugar and of the course. sugary sugary content. Sure. Yeah. So for people who are doing uh, intermittent fasting, um, taking saffron on a regular basis will help you to stay calmer and stay more in focus when you hit that 12 to 16 hour point where there is a bit of a challenge about, you know, should I eat or not? 
and saffron will help you get over that point very quickly. And usually as someone who does experience intermittent fasting, once you pass that point uh, where you are getting a bit weak, but you, if you can't pass that point, then going a few extra hours, then it's easy. It's just that getting, getting over that curve. I think I think it's not a bad idea if we uh, create a new video about that and teaching them in which stage of the special diet they can they can have fasting they can have the saffron sure, yeah sure but I would suggest that uh, try to have the saffron in the different way which is very simple 50 milligram of the saffron in a nice uh, big bottle of the filter water uh, preferably and just you know chuck it into the to the water uh, let it sit away from the light for half an hour within a half an hour scientifically it's been proven that saffron will release the bio components into the room temperature filter water and then especially in the morning as your stomach is thirsty so if you have such a water in the morning it will absorb the the bio components of saffron will absorb to your stomach layer and you will feel the difference within the following couple of hours so if you can do such a things every morning, I, I, I am confident that your appetite, uh, especially craving about sugar, will reduce in the really, really big matter. Yeah. Great. I think we've covered everything. I think so, yeah. So guys, uh, just as a token of our appreciation for watching the video up to this point, I'm just going to put up a little discount code up on the screen. You can use this discount code at the checkout if you're interested to buy saffron from us. Um, if you have already got saffron and you want us to have a look at it, send us an image. We'll tell you what grade or quality it is. Absolutely. Uh, if you have any questions about buying saffron or any question regarding health or any question at all, please send us an email. Here is our email address. Absolutely. And we'd be more than happy to make a video or send you an email back or... Sure. Yeah. Um, guys, what I want to add uh, to what Alex says beautifully is um, please consider that asking us any question that you have. Our background in research will support us to do the research for you guys in the proper manner and uh, find a solution for you guys. If we know the response, if you, we know the um, answer, if we know the answer, we will, we will respond to you. If we don't know it, so we'll do the research for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you. Cheers. Bye.